guys, it's Desiree. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be reacting to season 11, episode 2 of Shameless. And the title of this episode is Go Home Gentrifiers. Now, as you can tell, we are in a different setup than my um, Shameless episode 1. I filmed the episode 1, um, I want to say like a week or so after it premiered. But yeah, I'm not going to keep talking and I'm going to get into it because I have homework to do. And I, But I really want to watch an episode. So let's get into it. Alright, hi guys. So, um, it's Desiree and I'm interrupting this video because I just want to give you guys a quick update. Don't mind my nails. I'm in the process of doing them. Don't worry about that. Um, I was going to add the clip from episode 3 that I filmed. Um... But it was just way too long and yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick update. So when you guys are getting this video, this video was filmed so many months ago. Um, as you can tell by my hair, my hair is not even the same color in that video. Um, I found this in one of my SD cards, thank God, because I did not want to have to start us back up on episode three. So um, episode three, which you guys will get next Wednesday, is going to be an updated version of everything that's going on so real quickly i'm just going to get into it so this channel i have not been posting on as you guys know i've never been posting much so i want to do better with that now that it is summer and i'm not in school anymore so um, i'm trying to get back on a schedule with posting on this channel and my second channel which i'll link down below if you guys want to go follow please go follow and support over there but that's point. so as far as posting what i'm going to be posting now my plan is to be posting Shameless videos on Wednesdays and Stranger Things Season 4 videos on Saturdays. Um, I am still going to be uploading WandaVision. It'll just be sprinkled out here and there because I'm almost done uploading, almost done um, finishing episode 5. So I'm going to upload that probably with this video or sometime during this week. Um, and then, yes, Sh Stranger Things will be on Saturdays. As far as my music-related videos, those are also going to get sprinkled out just like WandaVision is going to get sprinkled out. Sometimes you'll get it like once a month, maybe twice a month, depending on how I'm feeling, depending on how my editing is. Um, as far as on my Marvel shows, it's going to go WandaVision, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and then Loki. I have not watched Loki, so do not leave any spoilers. I know I have managed to dodge so many spoilers for so many months. But yes, um... Anything else? Oh, Station 19. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to watch Station 19, but I did finish it on my own time. I finished Season 4 and I watched Season 5 all on my own. There will be a Station 19 wrap-up video with my all my thoughts on Season 4. Um, and then if you want me to do one also on Season 5, let me know. I will do that. And then when Season 6 comes around, if you guys still want me to watch it with you, I will. So let me know in the comments. Um, okay, I did that under two minutes. I'm going to go and enjoy the video. So excited. I honestly don't remember what happened in the first episode. <gasps> Carl? I haven't watched Shameless on the TV in so long. You were leaving once before. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Anyone? Oh, our little girl has lines. Girl. Why are they both what there? Are, why'd you guys sleep here last night? Oh, uh, the team was at our new place when we surfed in the bathtub. Good morning, Frank. Happy birthday. Thank you. Are you excited for your princess party? I hate princesses. What? No, you don't. I'm with friends on this one. Hey, no, I invited your entire class. There's gonna be a bouncy house. Hey, Ben, so I'm probably gonna get my first paycheck later so I can start paying for my part of the bills. Great. Wait, what? I didn't plan on supporting a husband. You gotta pull your weight. I told you. I <laughs> Okay, and he said, I didn't plan on supporting a husband. <laughs> you gotta pay your own bills. I mean, period. After Mickey played that little scam, I would not be paying for him either. You spent all of our wedding money. I forgot what he even spent it on, too. Like, it was something stupid. She said, don't shoot. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna go load these bad boys up with armor-piercing rounds so I can keep the mean streets safe for fuckheads like you guys. 
Says the boy who literally went to jail <laughs> for years. Um, who was getting in trouble every single week. But okay, go off, I guess. Whole city's right now. Another symptom of economic anxiety. Everyone self-medicating. Why are you two sitting apart? No reason. I think they're having a fight. Start with that. more product. We can go in on this together, partners. No! I've said this. I think I said this in the first reaction. I know that Frank is not reliable, but when it comes to weed, when it comes to drugs or alcohol, that man will be the most reliable man you will ever know. You could trust him probably with the firstborn, okay? Frank does not play when it comes to his weed. And I feel like even if they don't let him like touch any of the money or the weed itself and he just does like all the um like getting the customers oh yeah they would be making bang that plus the bar plus um my am looking kevin's gym thing oh yeah they got businesses honey businesses i suggest we do a trial run today give me a chance to prove myself i will find you weed i will teach you how to make the best edibles in the city and then i will help very you true show. because i'm sorry but the way that they were making it the, she literally took the weed and put it in the babes you're babes you're supposed to get that thing into butter like it's supposed to get like you know whatever that butter machine does so that it's it's infused the butter oh girl like i don't like weed i don't do edibles never eat smoked anything a day in my life but i know for a fact if i'm eating a, a brownie or a cookie and i'm literally tasting chunks i'm literally eating th the chunks of weed it's like what the point what's the point i might as well have just smoked it or ate it raw anyways what the actual fuck They broke in? And you're gonna go in with the kid? What? Where is he from? Yeah, sure. I was thinking that we could drive by the area, you know, there's still probably a lot of activity going on. Maybe us some heads, drag some bangers down to the That's station. what he wants he to do, he just wants to fuck people up. When you bike the lightsaber, it's never been shot, never shot at. You know why? I don't leave the car. Seriously? Personal safety is no joking matter. Don't tell me he gets paid for literally just there? driving around. Street, Carl, we can Seriously, gonna buy illegal weed from some random dude on the street? They're not random. They've been doing it for years. Mostly cheapest weed, but it's mostly stems. I don't know about this. These folks are. See, girly, what we is not gonna do is get stingy because, you know, a street weed been around quite some time. And y'all was y'all was smoking it perfectly fine. Now that we got I know I know, now that you have like a dispensary and it's safer and you actually know what you're smoking, it's like okay now I really really feel safe, you know? But doing any harm. It's the law abiding rich people who decided to legalize marijuana who are messing up a system that's been in place <laughs> for decades. Trust me, these I mean, books are a good product. Completely wrong. Hi babe. Uh, your sister is the goes in the crap. Uh, hey, Dude, because she's never had. Spending a lot of money, we don't have on. She's never had like a proper birthday party, so the fact that she gets to throw Franny one, it's very like, you know, living through Franny. Someone just dumped a bunch of trash in our new yard. Now. You know what it is? Their house is starting to look too nice, so they're probably mistaking them for gentrifiers, and that's probably what why their house is getting jacked up. I'm a customer who comes in and I want to return a song. What are some questions you might want to ask me? Where'd you steal that from? You think you can scam me? You think I'm fucking stupid? Is there blood on that shit? <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about yourself? What assets do you think you <laughs> Bro, he better start lying. Bro, I can bring whatever you fucking want to the workplace. I got <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. Let's go time. Oh, 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 cowboy, what are you doing there? Have you learned nothing today? We're so close. No, 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 there's officers much closer than we are. We're like two blocks away. I've seen this before. By the time we get there, someone will have gotten shot and a homicide will take over the case. So let's... 
if Carl asks to switch partners or tries to snitch on him, it's going to go bad because, like he said, he's been on the job for 15 years. That still gives him higher rank than Carl, who literally just came in less than 24 hours ago. All due respect, Veronica, your brownies were awful. Really? Did you fry the marijuana in butter first? No, she didn't. Thank you. What difference does that make? It takes out all the... What's so funny is I literally, like I just said, <laughs> you would think I'd know about smoking or anything like that, but I know about baking. And there's a show on Netflix called... I don't remember it, but I'll put it up. And it's like a baking show and it goes through all of like the, you know, baking with weed, cooking with marijuana. And you're supposed to cook it because it takes all the oils out. Liability for you to sell food on school property. That's not not selling it, donating. It. No, no, can't do that either. What? Share my lunch? No. I shouldn't give to those less fortunate than myself. Good. You hungry? For police action. What about <laughs> Plan P? Best this side move on. Oh. I was gonna say, whatever happens to the girl that he was doing tamales with? But then I remembered last season, her and her family got enough money to move. I really wanted them together so bad. I really wanted them together so bad. Anyways. So let me get this straight. You want to move in with me? Why would you leave your? I understand you're going in for like two seconds, but why would you leave your truck doors unlocked? Let's make it four then. Four it is. If you would pay my sales clerks behind the bar, I will bag these up for you. Twenty dollars, one brownie. Next one, gentlemen, four brownies. So that's uh, eight. I believe. You know what I like to do after a big meal? I don't know, Sleep catch some rapists. Take a nap over at the Best Buy. Have you ever sat in one of the massage recliners they have there? No. I'm sure I will now. It's Franny's birthday. You just came a little more into it than Franny does, babe. That is so not true. Franny it's very true. She I literally told you this birthday. morning that she does not um Franny like princesses or want. I did. Layer for a five-year-old girl's birthday party. I think it's dope. Love it. You mean to tell me nobody's seen that? Episode two. Oh. You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that? Mickey is getting money by bringing a dumpster full of empty food to the jail? I mean, go off, I guess. Wait a minute. It's expired. So what? It says 2019. It's fucking pasta, man. It doesn't go back. Yeah, well, I hate the guys in this joint just as much as anybody, but I'm not trying to give them salmonella or some shit. Well, really, if, if he doesn't touch any of the meats, right? Mm -hmm. Says I work 39 hours, I work 45, I should be getting overtime. Yeah, that's what they do. They dock you for lunch, the time it takes to go to the head, anything to keep it under 40 hours. So I want to be the best partner that I can be. So the least you can do is walk across that street and buy me a damn drink. All right. Since when did Carl become a, res a man? He needs to stop growing. <sighs> I freaking love him. I love Ethan. Uh, was he like an... <laughs> was he a... <laughs> oh, you're sweet. If I'm still at the factory in five years, I'd give you permission to shoot me. Okay. No. Seriously. Okay, but like, can we... I don't know. We need to have like a serious conversation. Why is it every single season since Carl came, even way before Carl even freaking went into prison, every single season they give him a shitty love interest? So, like I've said multiple times, all of Carl's love interests turn to shit. And I think I said last season in my reactions that I want Carl 
by the end of the series, I want them to set him up with somebody good, somebody stable, somebody that we could actually see him with, like, that would actually hold him up. I personally think Anne, or Anna, Anne? Is that her name? Anne's Gonzalez would have, should have, would have been that girl. I think, I know I still have like 10 more episodes to go through, but I think if they somehow bring her back at the end or something, I feel like that's his girl. Because, you know, out of all the girls that they've ever paired Carl up with in the show, she's the only girl that has been able to, one, keep up with him, and two, push him, and three, test him to his limits. That's the girl that he needs. She will... Are you kidding me? They could literally come up together, so... Anyways. Until our suppliers are back up and running? Sure. Excellent. I shall see you bright and early. And by that, I mean... Uh, it was very wholesome, but we all know it's not going to last very long. Over. From this point going forward, the cut will be 60-40. I'm in the 60. Seems fair to me. No, it does not. I got the raw materials. I did the manufacturing. They're supplying their house for you to cook in. Even though he did get the product and he did do all the cooking. And really, if he took it on, it's like, damn. But 60 40? I mean, I guess that's not too bad because they would both be getting 40 and then they could just put that together. But also, they have the bar and the gym. Okay, everybody grab your song lyrics. It's time to sing the print. Oh my god, do I really have to watch this, y'all? <laughs> Y'all really gotta make me watch this, right? Oh god, I don't wanna watch. I'ma just look at my phone, but know that I'm listening, okay? I just really don't wanna watch this. Say Franny. Sit right here. Okay. Oh Franny looks so cute. Okay, yeah, no, I can't. I'm skipping. Dad, oh, what the fuck did Mickey do? Is it is it real? Back at it again in the morning, right, sir? Oh shit, he's Cody. <laughs> oh my god. Was you fucked up our house before? The three of us. What the? Why? See, but are they... Okay, see, I think, now that Marsha's saying it, I think the whole reason why she's why she's fucking it up is because it looks too pretty. And like she was saying, it used to look a dump. And if it looks too nice, people aren't going to shit on it. So it makes sense. Like, as much as I love them and as much as they're trying to, you know, come up, sometimes you got to just leave things where that they were. Then they see your house. Call the realtors. Rent will go up. Property tax. We've been here our whole life, and now we're being pushed out. I could do anything for that kid, but sometimes I just... It's gotta be about me. That's true. We have to think of it as Debbie's situation. I mean, obviously, she chose to keep her kid, but her whole life she took care of the family literally in the pilot episode she was collecting money so that they could pay for their like electricity or water or something like that she her whole life has spent taking care of the family in the background and then she got pregnant and had to start taking care of franny so she never got time to take care of herself and Eve, you can't even really say that last season too because last season she was sleeping with those the mom and the daughter which i'm so glad we don't have to see them again but yeah where even was for anyone she was like that whole time anyways i wasn't wait i think from now on our cut's gonna be 70 30 70 30 yeah they really just they really just screwed themselves in the ass now i'm gonna go home and gentrifiers yep yeah. Can I just say I love how we have kind of like a passing down of the mantle where <laughs> Frank is now using Franny as his way to get money when he used to use Liam. So that's awesome. 
Um, I'm going to quickly read the description for the next episode. I'm not going to watch another episode tonight because it's already 12 o'clock and I got to do homework. Alrighty, you guys. So, that was a good episode. A good second episode honestly not that interesting i can't lie i was a little bored which is why i was looking at my phone some of the time um and i was just getting a lot of secondhand embarrassment and i hate having to sit through that but i hope you guys like the reaction and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye